Okay, so today we're going to be looking at how advertising in two different magazines aimed at teenage audience makes readers feel about their body image. So the first thing that we'll be looking at is this Roberto Cavalli advertisement from Madison Magazine. So Madeline, how does the initial impact of this advertisement make you feel? Um, well, I feel kind of inferior and um, uncomfortable because the woman is really skinny and I'm not quite the same and she's got long hair, she's wearing really nice clothes and she's probably a lot more feminine than I am so I feel kind of not adequate and as if I should be going to the gym right now. And Dylan? Um, yeah, as you can see she's quite an attractive lady so um, from a male, male perspective you can see how women get uncomfortable looking at images like this in you know, just their magazines that they read. And would you guys go out and buy the product, and why? To be honest, I probably would, because by buying the product, that brings me a little bit closer to being that kind of person. Um, yeah. I can't say. Yeah, obviously you wouldn't. Okay, so do you guys feel that society is bombarded, bombarded by these types of advertisements? Um, yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, they're everywhere, even, you know, on TV, on bus stops, uh, like in shopping malls, just everywhere. Yeah, I totally agree with Maddie. Like, you, you, you can't get anywhere without seeing, you know, a model or some advertisement somewhere. So, you know, it would really um, send a message through to them just from even walking down the street. And Maddie, um, how many girls, like, what percentage of the female population do you think would share your feelings about this advertisement? I'd say quite a few, actually, because just because they've are so predominant in society. Um, according to the Centre on Media and Child Health, 70% of girls are influenced by magazines in terms of what they think their ideal body is. And in a study of 7,000 girls, 700 began vomiting on a monthly basis due to magazines' influence on attitudes towards their weight. So it is very much um, a problem and it is very prominent in society. So now we're going to be looking at the girlfriend magazine style school segment which features um, various girls of different shapes and sizes modeling the same type of shirt um so for what first what was first brought to our attention in this magazine is that the different features are um, tagged with like reality check readers we use for this model Readers were readers, not not models, were used in this shoot, and then also throughout the different like reality stories and features, um, little markers like this image has not been retouched were used. So it kind of, um, from first glance, gives off a lot more realistic and positive influence on the teenage audience. So, um, Madeline, how does this one make you feel? Um, well, I feel a lot more relaxed because I don't really have to compare myself to anyone who I think is more attractive or more feminine than I am and is just the kind of person that you would see walking around on the street every day. Okay, so in conclusion, um, media and in particular magazines have a strong influence on teenage girls' body image. And this segment, for example, in Girlfriend magazine turned out to be much healthier in terms of reinforcing a positive body image on teenage girls than, say, the Roberto Cavalli advertisement that are spotted throughout magazines, same, um, targeting the same audience, such as Madison.